everybody, my name is Ted's Friends, and welcome to the first in my video series on the game Quirk, a VR game being developed by the company Ugen in Seattle, Washington. These will all be short videos designed to give a quick intro into different aspects and updates to the game as development on it continues. The first game mode they've released for the game is the classic deathmatch, so this video will be focusing on an intro to the currently released guns. Currently, the game has six guns. The Potato Launcher, the Plunger, the Toastalizer, the Bazooka, the Rocket Launcher, and the Ball Cannon. We'll start with the Potato Launcher, which for the longest time I called the Coconut Gun because apparently I can't tell the difference between a coconut and a potato. The Potato Launcher is going to be your sort of standard gun. It shoots in a slight arc and every pickup gets you 10 shots. Here it is being tested on three strengths of blocks. The weak blocks, it takes one and occasionally two potatoes to destroy them. The medium strength, it takes one and occasionally two. And the same goes for the strong blocks. What you'll notice is that the potato bullets don't disappear when they hit something. They actually ricochet with the potential to hit something else. Against the lava, the potatoes bounce right off without any effect to the lava block or the potato. Hedges are destroyed instantly with the potatoes bouncing off. Water blocks, the potatoes will pass right through. And rubber blocks, they'll also just bounce off of. Here's a gun against a large batch of enemies. Its 10 shot clip and ricocheting potato bullets make it pretty forgiving in most situations. Perhaps firing off all 10 bullets in quick succession somewhere near your target isn't such a bad strategy. Next, we'll look at the plunger. It's technically got unlimited ammo, but as you can see, it actually doesn't destroy any of the blocks. Instead, the plunger sticks to whatever surface, barring water blocks, which it'll travel straight through, and pull you towards it. Maybe don't do it on lava blocks. So for a little context, I've made a mini aerial course. Use the plunger to pull yourself to one block, disengage by hitting the X button, and fire it at the next block you want to launch to. The plunger gun can help you reach new heights. Literally. And for a little added utility, test the gun out on different objects. You might find you can pull useful tools in your direction. Next up is the Toastalizer. You got six shots with this one. Like the plunger, you can see the bullets don't actually seem to break anything. Even the bushes will remain intact against these shots. This gun is actually meant to be shot at either mobs or your opponents. One hit will stun the opponent for three seconds. A chain of stuns should give you enough time to knock your opponent with your melee weapon. And we're back to guns that do a bit more conventional damage. This one is the Bazooka. And obviously the name sort of gives away what it fires. Bees! Like the potato launcher, the Bazooka will come with 10 bullets per pickup. But when you launch the bee bullet, you might find it doesn't necessarily travel at mock speed. Nor is it the most powerful gun. This gun shines when there's an opponent nearby. Fire a few of these guys off in the general direction of your opponent and watch your new swarm... Swarm. The Bazooka launches homing bullets. Rocket Launcher. Rocket Launcher is literally what you would expect. It launches bees! In actuality, it's a rocket launcher. Each pickup will give you 10 rockets that give you the ability to be a little sloppy on the shooting. Impact causes the rockets to explode and actually have an area of effect as opposed to guns like the potato launcher. Against opponents, this gun is great if you're going for the multi-kills with one shot or if you're like me and are just a tad on the inaccurate side. Finding yourself in a tad of trouble? Fire the gun straight down. Ride the rocket jump to safety. And last but not least, at least until Eugen releases more guns, the ball cannon. First and foremost, this gun is stationary. There's no quick maneuvering with this one. It has unlimited ammo, uh, until you overheat it, that is, and has a super quick fire rate. But it's definitely not the strongest gun. It's sort of a give and take there. In a situation where you're overwhelmed by opponents, or let's say your goal is to defend a point, the ball cannon is going to be your best bet. Just watch that overheat meter or you might find yourself quickly overrun. And that's all six guns in the game of Quirk. Hopefully now you can hop right into a couple games and hold your own. Thanks for watching and be on the lookout for more videos on future updates from the game.